friends. Uh, this is Maria Kay and I am taking you for a walk today. It's been raining uh, non-stop for like three days around here um, and I have been out and about but no nowhere near as much. I want to take you on one of my favorite walks uh, to see a waterfall. So let's go ahead and go. One of the greatest things about uh, living in our area is that we have a lot of running water here. You are almost never out of sight or sound of some type of moving body of water. So this little waterfall here is not the one we're going to. That would be too easy. Um, this is on my property and it was uh, one of my water sources when my well was dead. This was the source of our um, toilet water and uh, dishwashing water uh, when we were without running water. So just, you know, love that stuff. I'm, I'm very much a water baby. And so I love it that I'm always uh, somewhere close to running water. So here we are at the very start of our little little trip and I am now entering like a teeny little slope that's just like for stretching your legs really and it goes around the corner and here I'll show you it's right behind me so it goes up and around and this here behind me is like my favorite rock. It's so neat, it's so cool. So this is the warm up, warm up rise. It's, you know, I've been walking up and down this road for so long now, I don't even notice this particular slope anymore. So this is just a warm up. Now, the road very briefly, very briefly, don't get used to it, goes down just to give us a little break. You know, just the, just to give us a an illusion that we are in good shape. And so you can see right there, right behind that little one-lane bridge is when it stops being nice and starts going up again. Uh, my favorite landmarks along the road, love this great big rock in the tree. Unfortunately, the tree is dead, was dead before they even trimmed all the branches, but they left it standing and it's kind of surreal looking, you know, very uh, magical forest. And here again, we have a little, 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 little creek coming out from under the rock. And these are all parts of the same little water system over here. And I, I wish I could just like pick up this rock and take it with me because I want to sit on it all day and, I don't know, have a picnic. There's another beautiful creek making a beautiful sound. This beautiful sound of rushing water. Just can never get enough of it. I just love this stuff. Look at this. It's just bubbling away. I've seen this, you know, in every weather, in every season, and I just love it every single time, fall in love with it every single time I see it. So the tree and the property you see behind me is somebody's just breathtaking. Uh, plot and I just wish I could live here uh, forever honestly you know they have the big rocks they have the big waterfalls they it's just awesome they have levels they have terraces just amazing stuff behind me is usually my first stop. The road stops being flat. It has a, a very 
moderate incline to it, but an incline nonetheless. And I just love this. This is such a beautiful spot. Yeah, it's a good place to stop, catch your breath, and prepare for what comes na next. Next. So this is what we're getting ready to climb. This slope goes from down here, up here, and around the turn and keeps on going up, up, up until we reach the road where the big waterfall is at. So it's, um, this is, this is aggressive. Um, my husband used to have some fun with it and used to climb it at a run. I'm not that insane. I'm just going to walk. And it just keeps on going up. It's going up and up and up and up and up. We're not going all the way. Up. We're only going up for a stretch, but uh, I've taken this in the snow in the past, and uh, I didn't enjoy it. My challenge to myself these days is to take the slope without stopping. You can tell it's a challenge because I'm hoofing like a beached whale at this point, <laughs> but I'm still going. No cheating. And up there, up the road, where the little green sign is at, is our destination. Made it. And fortunately, it is downhill from here. So the road, very nicely for me, is sloping down. Getting close, getting close. We're almost there! Yay! We made it! Oh. So here we are! We made it to the waterfall! <laughs> oh, I, that always makes me so happy. I just love this place. It's so beautiful. Here's the waterfall. It's a little more aggressive today than it was when I uh, took some photographs here over the weekend. It's taking up a little bit more of its bed, you know, running over the stones over there. I'm going to see if I can get a little bit closer. Go! Oh. How do you like that? I love that. So all that water goes under the road here and goes down, down the slope, further down, down to the waterfall we saw earlier down the road. That's what makes it all the way to uh, that little sl slope and that little cut in the levels to make another beautiful waterfall. guessed the way back is a lot easier than the way to get there you can see that behind me that's all down much easier it's a it's a very kind little hike you know you use up all your energy on the way to get there and then you kind of get to slack it off a little bit down and down and down we go and we get to go down some more. In the winter, if it snows or if we have ice, the only way to navigate this curve right here is in some type of ATV, maybe. 
or in a gnarly truck with some gnarly chains on it. This is really quite um, treacherous here and uh, I'm not sure if it shows but um, the edges of the road are sort of undercut. That's erosion. This is how badly it gets damaged by ice and water constantly floating downhill here. And so it's a, it's a nasty little turn. There's my street right down below. See that? We're up here and the street is all the way down there. This whole high, high we had to climb to make this. This is another place I like to come to. Sometimes I don't go over all the way, you know, to the waterfall. Sometimes I just come here and just sit. Hi, Ducky. Looks like we have a little mallard duck who decided to live here. But he doesn't mind. Yeah, there he is. Pretty body. Such a pretty boy. This is a good rest. It's always a good idea, even even if you haven't hoofed it up the mountain to go look at the waterfall. But uh, it's a it's a lovely place. A very close friend of mine, one of my oldest and closest friends, said, um, "If you're ever troubled, go look at the water." And that's what I do. Just love this. So pretty. So pretty. And there's my neighbor. One of my neighbors, enjoying nice weather. Hey, buddy. There he is. And he's feeling communicative. He sometimes come down, comes down here to the creek to get a drink of water. You know, he says hi and looks at you. Now he just looks at me. He doesn't want to come close. You enjoy, enjoy your snack there, bud. Yeah. Enjoy the weather. This is the creek that is the section of the creek that is directly across from my house. So this was another source of water for us when uh, when uh, our well was being re-drilled, rebuilt. Another beautiful creek. This one, if you are at my house and the windows are open, you can hear this one. Usually, we would come down to that big flat rock right there and uh, fill our buckets and then uh, load them in the car and hold them uphill. So, this was a lot of fun. But other than that, another very nice place to just sit and chill and listen to the beautiful water. First, the last hurdle is to scale my very own driveway. Whew! Here we come. Whew! Home sweet home. We made it. Thank you for coming for a walk with me. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. Make sure you get out and move every day. It's so easy to be tempted to just stay stationary and stay inside but surely surely you can find a little time and go look at something that is fun and beautiful and something that you can enjoy and something that will soothe your system and energize you for another day i hope to see you again have a great day